hello friends welcome to this video and this video we will see how to do the installation and configuration of cloudera data platform data center so first thing you need to do the prerequisites so please watch my previous video on prerequisites so it's almost same as that we done earlier for the cloudera in or hortonworks installation so next thing we need to install cloudera manager for that we go to the archive.cloudera.com and uh, cm7 you need to go to the cloudera manager 7 you can see only one version at this time and hit here and uh, we are going to do the installation using this package so cloudera manager install bin so either you can download in your local desktop and transfer it to your machine where you are installing cloudera manager or just copy link address if you have a direct internet access on your machine just use wget and if wget is not there use m install wget to do the installation so i have downloaded that package cloudera installer bin so just give the execute permission using chmod plus x and after that just dot slash cloudera manager installer bin so now you can see this message go ahead and hit uh, this next button and then the license just hit next accept this uh, license and uh, this will start the installation so this do the installation of jdk cloudera manager packages and embedded db etc and uh, finally it will start the cloudera manager so again it takes some time because it has to do the uh, installation and configuration so by that time let's uh, open one more terminal and see what is happening inside so use vm admin so again if you are uh, facing some challenges during the installation or you feel like installation is not progressing well so go to this directory so first switching as root user and go to slash var log cloudera manager installer just to type ls lrt you can see this file like first it, it was taking prerequisites installing repo then uh, open gdk now installing cloudera manager if you just see this content you can see this is installing just use the tailor so that you will get uh, real time view like it's uh, doing the installation you can see this one also if you just go to the etc m dot repos dot d so you can uh, sorry uh, we have no i have not gone to, just to go to this and uh, type ls you can see there is a repo cloudera manager dot repo so this this is the installer has uh, added this option and if you go to this you can see uh, this is the location the base url is uh, this location and uh, if you just copy this and uh, add it here so this is the location so that is same as red hat okay and uh, then m so this is the base url and uh, here it has got all the packages like the repo data and all so that is the uh, base url that we are using in the m dot repository decloudera repo and this is uh, updated by this wizard and we have not done anything manually so now it's uh, running cloudera manager and also like uh, see uh, go, go back to this directory uh, var log cloudera and uh, now the cloudera manager installation is in progress okay this is completed so once that is completed you can see the next one like all those things are in progress like daemon start and all those so it's uh, installing or this embedded db so by default it will install a postgres db and to start so now we got a message like this okay so point to your browser to this one 7180 is the port where cloudera manager is running and admin and admin is a credential 
so one uh, common thing is like once you complete this installation so you have to wait uh, some time maybe uh, two or three minutes uh, to start the service up and up and running so just to hit ok and so, so also make sure you open the port 7180 in your uh, network configuration so if you are using Azure so you have to change this NSG rule to open that port or if you are using AWS so there also you need to open those ports so that's it about the Cloudera manager server installation so now we can do the graphical installation from the Cloudera manager hope this is very clear so we will see in the next video thank you